Hijab is not just a piece of clothing that covers one from head to toe. Hijab is a commandment from Allah, the pride, dignity, and honor of every Muslim woman. Sheikh al-Albani said, We understand that the face is not one of the parts of the body to be covered, but considering the corruption of the modern age and the need to stop the means for further corruption, it should be covered. During the period of Jahidiya, women were made to dance naked in front of the Kaaba during ceremonies or festivals. Islam came and blessed us with the hijab, but unfortunately, we are trying to go back to the times of ignorance. Some people try to justify not wearing the hijab with actions are judged according to intentions or only Allah can judge me. Of course, only Allah can judge you, but we don't expect a Muslim woman with iman to walk down the street uncovered. Some people think that the hijab is only to cover the hair. The hijab is to conceal the shape of a Muslim woman. So if your hair is covered and the shape of other parts of your body is showing, you are not wearing hijab. Some people even go to the extent of asking why we should wear the hijab in the first place. My sister, you have 1,001 reasons to wear the hijab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, This is so that they will be known as respectable and free women in the society and not be molested. America this year recorded rape cases of over 87,000 while Egypt recorded rape cases of only 87. That is a ratio of 1,000 to 1. That is, every one woman raped in Egypt is 1,000 women raped in America. Now ask yourselves, this is a logical question. Which one of these two countries have women that obey Allah and wear the hijab as he has commanded? We all know the answer here. You are obeying hypocrites that are manipulating, modifying, and modernizing the hijab for you and disobeying Allah that says Wala zina tahunna illa ma minha. and they should not expose their beauty except that which is apparent from it which is the hands and the face and remember Allah says wa fa inna fiha abada. whoever disobeys Allah and his prophet for him is hell and he will abide there in forever so before you think about disobeying Allah and not wearing the hijab think about the sin or the place you get in hell because on that day nobody will agree with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhal nasu taku rabbakum waqshaw yawman la yajzi walidun an waladihi shay'a wa la mawludun huwa jazin an wadidihi shay'a inna wa'ad Allahi haqqa fala taqurrannakum al hayatu dunya wa la yaqurrannakum billahi gharun O mankind, fear your lord and fear the day that no father will avail his son and no son will avail his father and verily, the promise of Allah is true. Do not allow this worldly life to deceive you, and do not allow the chief deceiver to deceive you, who is the shaitan. In the following verse, Allah says, Wa nafsun bi tamud. No soul knows on which earth he will die. Earth here doesn't only mean land or place, it also means situation. You don't know in which situation you will die. You can die on your way to that party without hijab. You can die while having a video called with Onam Mahram uncovered. You can die in that one situation that you say, ah, let me just take it off. It is hot. We know it is hot, but Jahannam is hotter. Some people will be like, eh, we have heard. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wala takunu kallazina qalu sami'na wa hum la yasma'un. Do not be of those who say we've heard, but actually they have not heard. No one said it was going to be easy. That's why Allah says, Sabiku ila magfiratim ni rabbikum wa jannatin arubu haka arudi samai wal aud. Raise one another for forgiveness from your Lord and paradise whose width is of the heavens and the earth. In this race, you have to sacrifice. And in this sacrifice, you have to wear the hijab and conceal your beauty. Some people think that if they don't wear the hijab, that they are harming Allah in any way or they are making Allah angry. Allah doesn't care whether you wear the hijab or not. When the punishment of Allah comes, you will be punished. Allah says, They are not wronging us, rather it is themselves that they are wronging. So when you are not wearing the hijab, you are not wronging Allah, it is yourself that you are wronging. If you are exposing your body to the world, then what will you keep for your husband? The shaitan that is encouraging you not to wear the hijab, this is what he will say to you on the day of judgment. I never had any authority over you. I only called upon you and you responded to me. Do not blame me, rather blame yourself. 
Ma'ana be musri kum wa ma'antu be musriki because I cannot help you today nor can you help me. If Shaitan himself, the devil of all devils, the deceiver of all deceivers, the demon of all demons will say this to you on the day of judgment. You think your friends that you are trying to impress by not wearing the hijab will come and save you on the day of judgment. No one will look at you. If you are thinking about the people that will mock you for wearing the hijab, then Allah says, Inna kafayna kal mustahzi'in. Verily, we are sufficient for you against the mockers. Allazina yaja'aluna ma Allahi ilahan akhar. Those that make personals with Allah. Fasawfa ya'alamun. Verily, they will come to know. Walakad na'alamu anna ka yadiku sadruka bima yakulun. We know that your heart is hardened by what they say. Fasabbih bihamdi rabbika wa kum minas sajidin. Glorify the praises of your Lord and be of those who prostrate. Wa'abudu rabbaka hatta ya'atiyaka liyakin. And worship your Lord until that comes to you. My dear sister, wear your hijab until that comes to you. And never wear your hijab to please anyone in this world. Because if you wear it to please someone, if you go to Allah on the day of judgment, He will ask you to go and get reward from those you are trying to please in this dunya. And nobody will even look at you because everyone is facing his own problems, his own sins on that day. My dear sisters, we should enable to cover our hair and our legs while praying because if we don't do that our prayer is nullified because they are part of our aura millions have died before you millions will die after you your death will not change anything everyone will go back to the state area no one actually cares so don't try to impress anyone in this world you are so worried about what people will say about you when all they will say in the end is inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un don't let the day you die be the first day that you put the hijab on let me tell you the truth about life. No one actually loves you. Even your parents don't love you. Because on the day of judgment, your parents will be trying to get reward from you for the bad things you did to them in this dunya. Your mother will be smiling at you burning in hellfire because she got saved and she's in Jannah. Nobody actually cares. True happiness lies in establishing a beautiful relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So do not be of those who not Allah for answer and for some. They forgot Allah, so he made them to forget themselves. They don't have an identity, they don't know who they are. They are just following the sheep, they are just following the flock and trying to be like other people. Let me tell you, when things get hard, remember that Wamal Hayatu Dunya illa Matal Guru. What is life of this world except deceiving enjoyment? This life is nothing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fama uti to me shayin fa matawa hayatu dunya. Wama in the law yakhayrun wa abqa lilla zina amanu wa ala rabbi miya tawakarun. Whatever we have given to you in terms of physical owners and experiences is of the enjoyment of this worldly life. And what is with Allah is better and more lasting for those who believe and upon their Lord we trust. Whatever Allah has given you, the beauty, the money, everything is for this dunya. And if you obey Allah, He will bless you with everlasting money and the beauty that you want. He bless you with your good husband, all the money that you want, all the fame that you want. Even if He doesn't give you in this dunya, He will give you in the Akira because you will be raised among the, those that are high for obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to conclude by reminding us that after all this, that Allah will bless us with a beautiful gift, that is Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna mutakina fi jannati mawyun. Those that are pious, they will be in the gardens in which springs flow. Allah says in Surah Al-Muhammad, Mathalul jannah tillati wayd al mutakun The description of the paradise that those who are pious have been gifted with. Fiha anharum mimma in gairi asin. In it is water in which its smell nor its taste has been chained. Wa anharum min labanin lam yatagayya ta'mu. And milk in which its taste has not been chained. Wa anharum min khamri lazati li sharibina wa anharum min asali musaffa. And wine which is delicious for those who drink from it. Wa anharum min asali musaffa. And honey which is clear for those who drink it. Wa lahum fiha min kulli thamarati wa magfirati min rabim. And in it are fruits of different kinds and forgiveness from their Lord. Kaman huwa finnari wa su'uma an hamima faqata am a'um. And for those who are in hellfire, they will drink from burning water and it will cut their bowels. Do you want to be of those who mathalu jannatu lati wudha al-mutakun? Or with those who kaman huwa khalidun finnari? Choose your way. Because Allah says, فَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَ تَوْفَ وَالْمُؤْمِنِينَ Remind because very rem reminder benefits those who believe. This reminder will either serve for you or against you on the day of judgment. 
So choose the path you are going to follow. May Allah make it easy for us to wear the hijab in the best way and with the best of intentions. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.